Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all the cards that my girlfriend and I pull together and we enjoy pulling cards and I kind of want to compare this to magic. Um, whenever I make my magic opening videos, you will probably notice one thing. My girlfriend is nowhere to be found and I've obviously tried to tempt her buying clothing, nice items to make magic opening videos with me. But it's just me, right? Like, it's just me opening the videos, losing money. And it's kind of occurred to me that, like, um, that C will only make Weiss. We did Weiss with her nephew the other day. We still haven't, op we still haven't done that video yet uh, or uploaded that video because it's very long. We opened another case. Opened a case of FGO. But then, like, uh, we opened another case uh, of a older, much more expensive FGO set. I think it's the... And then, uh, uh, the hits, the hits. Um, I think this particular game is just more fun to open. So if you want... If you enjoy opening cards... Um, I always wondered this, right? So I love value and Magic the Gathering. Those four sets that I put on top of my list, they have a lot of value. Which means like, oh, well, you're going to try to break even. It's a lot easier to break even opening older Magic packs, especially like 2020 and above, than opening like Team Up. Team Up, you're basically looking for an alternative art. Otherwise, you will lose money. I think Team Up is, what, $40, $50 a pack right now. It's really hard to find a card in Team Up worth that amount of money. But more people like opening. So I understand the margin. So the dilemma in my head is quite easy. I'm gonna continue to go until we land on a cool page. Uh, oh, those are my lilies. Okay, that's my Acerol. You can see that we opened a lot of Burning Shadow looking for Charizards. Uh, these are my Pokemon. I have another trainer bunch. Umbreon, Espeon, Mewtwo, V Mac. Oh, here we go. We got Lily, Lily. Oh, let me. Lily, Lushamine, Sony. Oh, actually, why don't I open the? You guys love Charizard. Okay, there's a Charizard page that we have cracked open. We've opened a shit ton of Charizards, and they're shiny and rainbow and all this good stuff. Okay, so back to my initial assessment. Um, Magic cards opening, you actually get a better deal. In terms of EV, expected value. Pokemon, you open it. I, the best example I can give you is we opened a base set of uh, Pokemon Unlimited. It's a $450 pack, unweighed. There is one card in it, ungraded. Again, ungraded. There's one card in that thing, ungraded, that is over $400 raw. And that's the Charizard. So... Obviously, not every pack, in fact, very few packs will have a Charizard. Therefore, the majority of the packs are going to be loser packs. Right? So, how is a booster pack of... It's for the experience, it's for the fun. My girlfriend has a lot of fun opening this. Her nephew has a lot of fun opening this. I assume that our daughter in the future... We'll have a lot of fun opening this type of stuff. So luckily for her, like if she is into Pokemon, I own a whole Pokemon store with just infinite cases and boxes. And it would blow your mind how much stuff I have upstairs. Like it would just blow your mind. Um, but this is fun to open. And Magic the Gathering doesn't have that fun experience to open because it doesn't have the IP. Now, as an IP attorney, I'm going to tell you something. Charizard is Charizard. That's IP. When you open a Charizard, it's owned by Nintendo, the name, the likeness, everything. When you open a Magic card, even if it's a Planeswalker, they really should have done this with Planeswalkers, which is kind of like trainers. But there's like, no, it's like, who is this guy? Like, Vraska, like, what's he doing now? Like, who, don't, no one cares about Vraska. No one's waifu is Vraska or Lily. The whole waifu collecting thing in Pokemon is a little weird, but I understand why some cards are really popular. And expensive. Um, so that those are my Charizards. Those are more Charizards. Obviously, I have a collection of them. But when we are opening 151, hunting the Charizard, it's just such a fun time. You can you can hear it in the videos we make. You can hear it in the camera. We're just having a fun time opening stuff. So for me, 
when we open Pokemon, it's less about value and more about that experience of hitting or not hitting a good card. Crown Zenith was really fun to open with the girlfriend. Um, she actually didn't live with me at the time, so she was really excited every weekend to come by to the home and open some Crown Zenith. Um, tons of Crown Zenith. But, you know, these cards are just so fun to open because they're childhood, they're video games, they're cards that you know and know. Like Magic the Gathering, like the the Junction thing, like who the hell is Oko? Like I know, yes, he's from Throne of the Aldrin and so on, but like what was that? <laughs> you know, who, the lore in Magic is so bad, right? Compared to Pokemon, there's no video games of Magic, no TV show, no backpacks, no figures. You know, there was a dude trying to sell me in Houston, nice guy, trying to sell me a Liliana figure, and th there's a Liliana figure and a Chandra figure in uh, on sale but no one wants them i can tell you if you put a lugia figure and you put it for a good price and they're discounted they're discounted like 300 400 from what the guy bought it at maybe they're used so i mean again it's not it's a very aggressive price both the liliana and chandra figure is priced at and i know figures because i bought some more figures the other day if there was like a lugia or charizard figure of same quality same price point and same discount level, it would be gone in a snap, right? And I think that's the problem that I also feel about opening these packs. It's, it's not, when I open Pokemon packs, I know I'm gonna get hosed, but it's a hell of a lot of fun to get hosed. When I'm opening Magic packs, like people just, it's not that fun. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for half the time, you know? So anyway, let's say, oh, here's Anti. If somebody pointed out this is actually valuable. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea that card. And this is valuable. This is like the secret rare version. I thought it was a McDonald's promo. And I was like, oh, no, it's, this is actually a Dark Tarantar. Yeah, I, I realized that um, some cards are actually more valuable. And then this is the fun part. This is the new stuff that we open. Uh, the Sylveon. Um, Sylveon is my favorite Pokemon. So obviously the Moonbrion, you, you crush a Moonbrion or, or Blaziken or Machamp. It's just a fun time, man. Like, or Gengar. You guys seen me open these on live stream. Uh, the Espeon, we, we were hunting Moonbrion. Oh no, no, we were not hunting. Yeah, we were hunting Moonbrion. It costs like $5,000 a pull of Moonbrion. Lugia, right? Tyranitar, KFC, Charizard. Uh, and then, and then this is really fun to hunt back in the day, right? It was really, really fun to hunt. So anyway, my point is kind of simple. It's people are willing to just get hosed in Pokemon openings because it's more fun and magic openings are not fun in my personal opinion for the person opening. Now, if you're being paid to open them, yeah, God bless, man. That's your job, right? Anyway, hi guys.